Stone, when you were at KU, uh, you didn't have a, a great experience with tech last year. I mean, does it feel good to be able to maybe get a little bit of retribution? Yeah, it feels good. It always feels good to win. So excited about that. Does it help when you've seen so many of those hitters uh, before the way you have? Uh, to be honest, I don't. I don't know if I had faced any of those guys before. I just went out and pitched. Peyton, two two one run games the last two nights. I mean, did you kind of think this was maybe what you were getting into going up against a team like Texas Tech? And how good was it to bounce back from the weekend that was, you know, at, at Alabama? Yeah, for sure. Uh, Texas Tech's a really good team. Uh, you kind of look up and down their lineup. They're all hitting like 350, it feels like. And so, um, you know, they can swing it. We knew that we were going to put up some runs and stuff. And, you know, credit to our bullpen and, and uh, starter pitcher today, Colin. He uh, did a really good job of uh, just kind of holding them and stuff. But it, it was good to get back on track, playing at home, and, um, you know, get back uh, get back on track from this past weekend. I think it was the third pitch of the game you hit on top of the Hunt Center. Just what, what were you looking for? What you get on that at bat? Yeah, so uh, just kind of sitting like fastball, just middle, middle, and uh, it kind of hung a change up and you know, put a good swing on it. And uh, so it was uh, it was awesome. And um, I was kind of glad that I kind of get like a little spark going uh, early for our uh, offense. And then Stone, for you again, um, you, you faced a lot of left-handed hitters, but it seems like they're becoming more comfortable. Maybe you're becoming more comfortable with facing the right-handers. How has that evolved? Um, really, I just – wanted to face I'll face anybody it doesn't matter uh I just try and tag get ahead and finish the uh, job so and then for Peyton you know from from our vantage point it sure seemed like this felt like not your typical midweek just being there in the middle of it did, did it feel a lot different to you all than, than what a lot of Tuesday games are like Wednesday yeah for sure um you know they're, they're a really good team and uh we knew that coming in and um it's going to be huge for us down the road to be to be able to uh, come away with two wins against those te that that team, and so um, you know it was huge. Uh, it was good. I think this is something that we needed uh, coming coming back from Alabama and dropping two two out of three there. And so uh, to to get back, you know, the good thing about baseball is you just you get to play again the next day or, or two days or whatever it is. And so uh, it was it was huge for us to play a really 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 good team. And um, you know, hopefully we can keep this momentum going in South Carolina. Peyton, you hit a. Lead off yesterday and two hole today. You've hit both in both spots throughout your career. Is there any difference in approach between the two? Uh, you know, not really. Um, I just try to. I don't try to think of myself as like a leadoff batter, just another um batter in the order. Uh, you're really not lead off and um, except for the first at bat of the game. Um, and so that's just kind of like my mindset. But um, you know, just just hitting wherever coach puts me and uh, just trying to have quality at bats and and hard contact. Hey, could you just through that 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 uh, that, that lineup double play in the ninth that would be pretty big getting that runner off base? Could you kind of go through that play? Yeah, so um, you know, he hit it pretty good off the bat, and it was like knuckling and like top spun, and so it was uh, kind of like handcuffed me a little bit. Like I was, I didn't know if it was just gonna like keep going down with the top spin, and I was gonna have to uh, go to second to uh, to Vahiva, but um, you know, it had, uh, stayed up, and I put my. I saw him kind of like in my peripheral, like get off the bag, and uh, I knew that uh, if I called it, then we were going to be able to turn double play. And then uh, Peyton Holt, you know, he's played the outfield. Obviously, you think of him as an infielder, and he seems like he's giving you guys some good at bats too. Uh, Dave, I think he's going to keep him in the lineup this weekend. Just what what do you thought about uh, Peyton? Kind of how he dealt with not starting, and now he's playing more and he's playing different positions, and versatility, all that. Yeah, I mean, first off, he's a great athlete. He's probably one of the best athletes on our team. Um, he could play all all nine positions, all eight uh, positions. And, um, you know, he was a really good teammate. Uh, uh, you know, he felt like he probably should have been in there, but just because he wasn't didn't mean he was a bad teammate or anything. He was a great, great leader for our dugout. And, um, you know, he's like that spark plug that we always talk about, brings a lot of energy, plays 100% and goes all out. So, um, you know, it doesn't surprise me at all that he's out in the outfield and, um, you know, looks like he's played there his, his whole entire career. So um, I'm super happy and excited for him. There, somebody told me, do you have a bunch of family here today? Uh, I just had my mom and dad. This is actually the first, first midweek that they've came to since I've been here. So Okay. Well, how, how was that for you? It was cool. Um, you know, I uh, I appreciate them. And, you know, I can't thank them enough for the support that they've given me. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm super close with both of them. And for them to take off work on a Tuesday and Wednesday means a lot to me. So 
in the snow days. So that was kind of get me over fastball. The guy hits the homer. You know, some guys might have freaked out. I don't know. But you seem like you obviously maintain your cool. Got, got You know, struck the guy out. Just well, how would you react to the home run? And you obviously had a little bit of a cushion there. Yeah, I wasn't happy about it, obviously. And uh, I really wanted to battle that out and just get that last out. So it felt good. Yeah, you alluded to this a little bit, but your know, tough weekend at Alabama, you beat a good team here twice, and now you, you seem like you have, you know, your mojo bag going, going to Carolina. Just how, kind of what's the mindset when you have a couple good mid, midweek wins? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, midweeks are for maybe getting some guys going that, um, you know, had, they struggled at the plate offensively like in the weekend and just get their confidence back and, um, kind of like I said, like it was great that we were able to play like a really good team and in, in the midweek. And, um, you know, it's going to be fun this weekend. Uh, you know, I think we need to play better on the road and uh, we haven't necessarily shown that this year. And so uh, another opportunity to be able to go on the road, it's going to be fun. And, um, you know, hostile environment, South Carolina's got a really good team and a uh, really good player. So uh, we're looking forward to it. The, the winning streak at home has now reached 25 games. What, what, what are your thoughts on that? It's pretty cool. Um, you know, it's uh it's uh, we love playing here. Um, you know, it's obviously our home ballpark where we practice every day. And so uh, to be able to kind of protect our house has kind of been like the motto. And um, it's it's been really cool for us to go out there, play well here at home and in front of our home fans. Stone, you pitched quite a bit at, at Kansas. And now you've got, got this interesting role where you come in, face the guys, maybe an inning. Just how has it been adjusting to this role? And is this kind of what you expected it would be like this year? Uh, adjusting, really, I've just – wanted to pitch for the team and I wanted to do my best and, you know, just do my best with the opportunities I got. So, you know, it doesn't bother me at all. I just want to help the team out and win in any way possible. Peyton, uh, this was like a, this was a team that came in averaging 9.8 runs per game uh, coming into the midweek. Did you think that kind of pressured the offense of trying to punch back? Like, of course, you had the comeback victory yesterday, yesterday but do you think this uh, pressured the team of trying to be on your offensive game a little more because you knew this team was going to score a lot? Yeah, I mean, uh, they're they're definitely offensive, but, um, you know, y'all y'all seen our pitching all year, and uh, we trust those guys. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, good pitching beats good hitting. And so, um, you know, they, they were able to, to hold those guys. and uh, But I don't think so. I think we've been – we've done really well – you know, as a whole, as an offense, is when when the team scores, we uh, punch back, and so we were able to kind of do that. Um, you know, I know last night they put up you know, six or seven kind of early, and our bullpen came in and, and did a great job for us to be able to fight back. So it was huge, but I don't think so. Um, I just think that we just go out there and and we just go pitch by pitch, and I think that's kind of why we've had some success these past two days. All right, guys, appreciate it.